Time now for the evening rush. A man now behind bars accused of threatening a man and leading police on a chase. What it looks like is this individual was planning on killing his ex-wife or girlfriend. Police say Albert Cedillo had just been released from prison and tracked a woman to a home in northwest Albuquerque where he's accused of shooting a man in the leg, stealing a car and taking off. Police eventually spiked a car, they say, and he got in it, he got into later. Still no word on who may be at fault after this crash today. You can see an APD patrol unit involved in a crash. It happened on Coors near Sequoia. APD would only say it was not serious. You can see that APD cruiser was damaged with the front bumper ripped off the car. We'll give you more information as we get it. All well, your weather headlines for the first day of summer tomorrow are smoke and haze early. There's no question visibility is not going to be great. There's an air quality alert here in the metro area because of wildfire smoke. Still going to be another hot, dry day, and then cooler temperatures are on the way for the weekend. Right now, the state is paying back a multi-million dollar backlog it owes filmmakers. The Taxation and Revenue Department announced today that the state made payments of nearly $100 million to 98 shows this week. The tax department says each payment was between $1,300 and $15 million. City pools are working to improve safety by beefing up their security. The city's aquatics division says they plan to install cameras, motion sensors, and alarms to help keep out vandals and trespassers. That is in addition to new higher fencing that has already been installed. They plan to install the new features in the off season. Well, you won't be able to use three diving boards at some city pools this week. It comes as the low board broke at Highland Pool Sunday afternoon. Officials say diving boards are inspected twice a year. After finding cracks in the Highland board, the incident prompted them to inspect all of the city's diving boards this week. A firefighter badly injured in a fireworks explosion is showing some signs of improvement. Hobie Bonham and Jeff Strobel were packing fireworks when the blast happened. Strobel's family says his lungs are improving. His family says yesterday he was responsive. Bonham's family says he is being moved to a rehabilitation center. Federal authorities are asking you for information leading to the arrest of 41-year-old Christine McDonald, who's accused of hiding illegal immigrants. Authorities found a stash house used for human trafficking last week in Chavez County. Inside, they found seven teenagers from Guatemala. The sheriff's office says a federal warrant has now been issued for McDonald's arrest. City of Durango says it will bring an idea to better defend homes to the city council this summer. They're asking residents to replace trees like pine and juniper with other trees like oak and elm. It comes after more than 54,000 acres burned in last year's 416 fire in Durango. You can now buy fireworks across the state. A reminder, though, Albuquerque Fire Rescue says if fireworks are purchased in the city limits, they should be legal. They say anything that goes higher than six feet in the air is illegal, and you are not allowed to set off fireworks in the bosque or open space areas. New technology at Kirtland Air Force Base could soon help take down drones. Engineers developed the microwave technology to address the growing threat of drones near military operations. They say it's more efficient than trying to shoot down a drone and has a much farther range. Right now, Thor is just a prototype, which still needs review from the Department of Defense. People near Ruidoso are talking about protecting wild horses again. This comes after a horse was killed Tuesday afternoon on Highway 48 in Alto. Lincoln County Sheriff Robert Shepard says the horse darted out in front of a driver. That driver was not injured, and the sheriff says she was not speeding and had her eyes on the road. A fire on tough terrain continues to burn in the Lincoln National Forest. That fire torching 360 acres so far. It burned a vehicle and a structure almost immediately. Investigators haven't said how it started. No word on containment. Speaking of other fires, the Woodbury Fire in Arizona is going to cause issues here in the Albuquerque area tomorrow. So the threat index is up to a five, mainly because of wildfire smoke and air quality. In addition, we're going to have hot temperatures on the way and it will be occasionally breezy to windy. Well, you can still get your kids involved in swim lessons after the world's largest happened today. Today, thousands of pools around the world are participating in this annual event. Instructors and officials in Albuquerque are raising awareness in an effort to prevent drownings the leading cause of accidental deaths in children. For details on swimming lessons, go to always on krqe.com. One competitor in the senior games is also volunteering. Angela Walker is a Navy veteran from Illinois participating in this year's senior games, but her focus isn't just on the gold. When she's not competing, she's volunteering, doing things like helping athletes with directions and how helping them handle defeat. Walker just took the gold in horseshoes. Well, there could be some closures on Sunday in Santa Fe. More than 300 riders will be hitting the streets 
for the inaugural GFNY Santa Fe long distance bicycle race on Sunday. GFNY, a global cycling marathon with events all around the world. This race begins at Santa Fe Plaza at 7 a.m. on Sunday and it ends at Ski Santa Fe. A unique art exhibit will be on display during New Mexico United's August game. United partnered with groups including We Are The City and Meow Wolf players and students from local middle schools kicked soccer balls dipped in paint at panels creating unique pieces of art. Those panels will go to New Mexico artists to use as canvases.